Hello everyone, this is Akhil from Almost Social and in today's video we are going to talk about Lightroom and one amazing gadget which actually works with Lightroom editing. So in this video we are going to talk about that gadget, how we can use that gadget and a bit about Lightroom as well. So if in case you would need more videos on Lightroom and this amazing gadget, you can let me know in the comment section below or maybe say if in case we cross 1000 likes, we'll do regular episodes on Adobe Lightroom tutorials. So it's all up to you. Let me know by the number of likes. So if in case you like this video, after watching the entire video, make sure that you are giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if in case you haven't. And this is the Instagram handle. You can go and follow me. And for more details about this product, you can actually find a link in the description of this video. So go and check that out and watch this video till the end. So as soon as you open the box, this is how the packaging looks like. I am really impressed with the packaging because they have really put their stress on each and every detail. I am loving each and every part of it. So opening this box was really exciting. And once you open it after having a look at all the things that you have on the box, this is the inner shell of the box. And inside that is your loop deck. Amazing loop deck, I would say. All these buttons are having some premium finish to it. And you have some rubberized grip over all these switches. And this is really amazing. Okay, you also have a wire. So once you take that out, you also have something like a manual. So let's just take that out as well. And let's just see if in case we have anything which we should not be missing. This is pretty simple. So I think we'll just keep that aside and that should be okay. So yeah, that's how your amazing loop deck looks like. The reason why I am really loving this one is this is really not a device which will replace your keyboard or mouse. And they really don't intend to do that. This is simply something which is an add-on for all the people who really work really really hard and really really maybe sit for longer hours on lightroom and it will make your task really easy with all these things because i am really loving it and the joy of editing photos on this one is really very high in comparison to maybe say editing with your mouse and keyboard only so i am really loving the experience and let me just show you how exactly is the experience when you edit the same thing using this one in lightroom all right, so before I start talking about all the photos and how you have to use this amazing loop deck, let me just maybe say go through each and every button, what exactly that is and everything. So yeah, so like you can see, this one is undo, redo, brush, and then you have some stars and then you have copy, paste, function, pick and zoom. And then you have all these preset uh, options which are from loop deck. So if in case you are looking for some preset for editing, you can use any of these eight presets. These dials are to change the color, which are corresponding to whatever is mentioned here. This is contrast, clarity, shadows, highlights, exposure, black, vignette, exposure, black, whites, and then you have C1 for vignette. And then you have vibrant saturation. These are arrows, zoom, white balance, tint, export, and before and after. But before that, let me just show that on the screen on what are the other buttons which you can actually configure or customize. So all you can see here, uh, C1 is for vignette, C2 is for uh, library and develop toggle, and this one is open browser, and then these are all the other ones which you can preset. If in case you want to change it, you can change it, but yeah, I'm not going to do it for now. And for now, maybe say if I am in library and I just want to move to the develop mode. So let's just click here on C2 because that is a shortcut. Oh, and these are some of the photos from one of the weddings which I covered in Chennai. So maybe say I'll come to this photograph, which is like maybe say on the extreme. So one of my most favorite photographs taken at Chennai and a huge shout out to all the Chennai people. Yeah, you guys are doing good. But yeah, let's just talk about the first things which we might have to do in this photograph, even though this is already an edited photograph in Photoshop, not manipulated, edited. And I really don't do like a lot of editing anyways, but I'm still going to show you what exactly this loop deck can do for you in Lightroom. And if in case you are using this one, make sure that before you start using this, you already have the updated software because I was using Lightroom 5 and I had to upgrade to Lightroom 6 because this needed that. Anyways, so let's just first work on maybe system shadows a bit. So maybe see, you can clearly see on the screen if I am rotating this one, the shadow 
it is clearly working amazingly there so maybe say i'll just go with 50 for this one i think yeah, that's cool and highlight is way too much so i'm just going to decrease this i think yeah, this should be okay and blacks i'm just going to maybe say take it down because i'm just going to clearly uh, give it like a different look so i think yeah, this is okay and exposure has to come down a bit that's like way too low so i think yeah, i am okay with uh, i think yeah, this one is fine clarity let's just increase a bit yeah i think i'm okay with uh, c7 you can clearly see here that the numbers are changing so i think yeah seven is fine and now let's just maybe say uh, work on vibrance a bit let's just decrease or maybe let's in decrease the saturation and let's increase the vibrance because that might give it like a better look yeah i like this i like the yellow sand as well and tint let's just maybe say give it like a different bluish tint i think at this looks okay and white balance i'm just changing it a bit so that i can clearly have a different look of the photograph i think this looks good to me a bit of blue and clearly a before and after you can see here uh, the new one is slightly bluish that one was like yellowish so i think yeah, i am okay with this one let's just maybe see increase some vignette so we'll go this side so that we are getting the black vignette okay i don't think so i'm just gonna go with that or maybe i think yeah, this is fine this much is fine and let's just work on all these presets which we have here so p1 will change it to this p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 and p8 i think this is fine just just to maybe say show what exactly it can do i'm just going to bring down the white balance and i'm just going to maybe say decrease the exposure because this is clearly overexposed i think i'm okay with this no i'll just increase that a bit and then tint again i can just maybe say do the bluish this is again before and after which again looks pathetic honestly because i have really not worked on the editing editing part but i'm just showing you what exactly this amazing thing can do for you and this can definitely save a lot of your time because you really don't have to take your mouse every single where and then do the editing click 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 and then with your keyboard as well you really don't have to do it everything this can take care of and if in case i have to maybe say share some more things about this one then uh, one smart thing which these guys have done is this thing here the wire comes out of this this can actually come here or here which will be a bit wiser because this won't be touching the ground and then you have these supports which are on the bottom so that you will not be having scratches every single way this is completely an amazing quality plastic and this looks perfect to me so if in case you think that you would maybe say use this thing for lightroom and if in case maybe say you are a person who uses uh, editing a lot i think this is uh, going to be a very good buy for you so pretty sure if in case you would want to consider this one this is going to be pretty amazing so yeah for now let's just quickly export and let's just hit on export and i'm cool with this one so it is exporting and we finally have our new file so yeah amazing so that's it in this video guys i hope you guys liked it if in case you did then please make sure that you are liking this video give it this video a big thumbs up let me know if in case you would want to see more similar videos related to loop deck which is an amazing amazing gadget and lightroom which is an amazing software and if in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do that before you leave i'll see you again in the next video till then have a great time and please take care